Aussie Central guinea pig rescue. Okay, so we have got Miss Vicious, she's known as. <laughs> I can't believe she's that vicious, so let's take a look. Okay, so she had some little black things on her mouth, is that right? Left nostril. Nostril. And it's not looking good today, actually. Alright, let's have a look what's it's going on. It's getting inflamed or something. Let's see what we can see. I'm going to pop her up here on the camera first, so we can see a little bit more about what's that she's there. Put my glasses on. Let's see. Hopefully, I can see very closely a little nostril that I'm going to look into. Make a little V shape, which we do out of towel. Let's cross it over. Lower it down. Something stuck on That's there. That's right. It's going to have to be cut off. I'm going to give you back her little wrap. I'm going to put her into mine. Okay, so we're going to do her nails, is that right? A little bit of a groove. Does she want that? Yeah, nails and ears would be great. See, something stuck there. Well, this is just uh, wet. I know, wet hair. She's been sitting in one place and she's urinating on herself. So she's probably got a bit of urine scald there. So we'll do a bottom bath as well. She needs that. Let's see. What's going on? Okay. Miss, hello. Let's see. Now it's all blood. It's very dirty. It's like fecal, fecal matter. It's always a left nostril. No, it's actually on both. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's both sides. And she's had her nose in it. So she's been eating both. Eating something. She's really been. Uh, her pips aren't soft though. They're quite good. No, but her bottom is really moist and wet. So that's just probably from coming here today. It's not normally. Well, okay, let's just deal with that in a sec. She's got fungal. Um, I wondered if she had ear mites because she's been shaking her head a bit. No, nah, she's, well, she's more than likely got mites, um, but she has fungal in her ears. But when we look at her little nostril, she's actually got it on both sides. Let me move my glasses okay so she's got this little brown mark on both sides of her nose it's a little heavier on one side rather than the other and when we look at her rear and how she's more than likely trying to groom down there probably taking her own um, pellets she's putting her face into this which is really quite thick moist and wet that's been sitting there for a while because a lot of this is clumped like see here it's been there for a while so let's take another look just down here let's see yeah she's got loads of clumping in around this area i know a little girl she has no stone or anything but i think actually this is the problem is actually this this area so we're going to clean all of that up i'm going to shave that back so she's not sitting in it it'll clear the hair from that area we'll groom up her nails in terms of her she's had revolution yesterday yes okay so where did you put that um i put it on the back of the ears yeah good so i won't wipe the back of the ears then just in case there's any residual amount still to be absorbed mm -hmm. it actually takes effect within 24 hours but if it was like last night, yeah, then, you know, there's still a bit of the content. Yeah. So I'm not going to wipe the back of the ears, but I am going to wipe the inside of the ears because there's fungal in there. And we find that with thick coated guinea pigs all the time, Rexes and Texels as she is, that it gets very fungal with dried skin flaking in there. And then they're using their paws, moving it around. Their coat's denser, so little spores get caught in their coats. They're just more vulnerable to it all. So, what we're going to do is sort all of that and she'll be feeling a lot better. I'll pull some of that out. <laughs> She's such a cutie. She's not cranky at all. <laughs> she hasn't tried once to bite Wait till me. she headbutts you with her teeth. She is not going to headbutt me with her teeth. Where are you, sweet mum? No. no, so I'm going to go get a few things set up and then we'll put that right. Actually, we'll shave her first. I'll do that bit while we're here. Let's get this. Let's get off the indignity of it. It quite right. Uh, we'll just 
hair like this is really quite thick. Oh no, little girl. And just cut the onion. Oh, Let's get that off. It's really, really massive down there. I'm going to give you some food now. Okay. So, yeah, just making sure her cage is super, super clean and clear. Yeah. So that she's not sitting in anything because it does get, create urine scald. Yeah, no, it and, you know, that's what yeah. this is effectively some doing. Lisa toggle mats and they clean up the poops. Uh, very well, regularly. she's she's sitting like in it because yeah. it's it's there. Yeah, like, yeah. see this is all yeah. that didn't happen in 24 hours. So she's sitting in one space. She might have a preferred hidey with it being cold or a, a corner or somewhere she's always sitting and she's outside and if she's, in the daytime too yeah but if she's she, if she's a guinea pig that raises up and urinates some squirt backwards really quite easily mm. and they wet the edge of like a soft cloth a soft hidey mm -hmm. that wall edge can be damp and fungified people don't it's not necessarily the floor mm. so when she backs up into it this area is getting wet and damp all the time because it's touching the same spot does that make sense? Mm. So um, it's something like that is going on with her environment. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's not good that she's sitting in. So I'm going to really chop a bit here. To get this back. So I can get... You can see how damp and wet it is in here. Very damp. Very wet. Hello, little girl. Right every day and every Yeah, what time night. are you putting her out? Oh, probably 12 o'clock the latest and then we bring her out. Midday? Yeah. Yep, yeah, okay. And we bring Just her back in the evening and um, yeah. she's always on dry bedding of an evening. I would definitely, while she's out, be giving her a dry cloth within the space that she's in so that if she doesn't want to be on the grass she oh, can yeah, yeah. sit on something completely dry oh, yeah. and fresh yep. so, well what's happening is she's urinating and that's what's in here like it smells of pure urine so it's getting caught in her coat mm. and that's partly because it's long down around here but it's also because when she urinates she's still standing mm. or she's near where she urinated so mm. during a day of it and continued sort of occurrence of it this is what happens so with these um, texels they need to be kept really away from from that so that you can keep this area dry and I believe that's what's going on with her face so. sorry opposite, opposite ends yeah and often that's uh, um, Something we find with veterinary care is that they will look purely at the one area without recognizing the dynamics of how they move and groom themselves. And it's often at the opposite end. It's to do more with that, so very likely. Oh no. yeah. Giving you a chance, little girl, to get this cleared up. Oh, she will feel better. Oh, she'll feel a lot she, better. Before she came to me, she was just on the ground and had no dry flooring at all. No. Yeah, she's also, she's got a little stone. Mm. She has actually got a little stone that's forming there. And she was oh, brought you. up on rabbit and guinea pig food. Mm, yeah. Well. And no veggies except carrots and apples. Okay. Hopefully, that's a lot better now. She does have a little stone forming there. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to put a bit of numbing cream on her. And we're going to let her wait about 15 minutes. And then we're just going to try and flush that down a bit. Because it's another reason she could be putting her head down there is because it's annoying her. She knows. And if you 
um, come over, you can put your finger along, just go across side to side, you can feel a lump there. there. Yeah, just as I'm doing, do that. Now to my side, you've got to come across. No, padding won't do it, you've got to go across. Okay. Feel the lump? Yeah. That's a stone. Okay. Oh, it's big. Though. No, it's not big. <laughs> but there's a stone there. We deal with a lot bigger. But what we're going to do... I know, I know, I'm sorry. Getting quite personal there. Just a sec. So I'll put some cream on here. She's such a good pig. She is. Just to numb that area a little bit. We're going to do all of this before we will bath it. So she can have some grass time. We need to wait about 15 minutes. Here we go. I don't have one. Okay. I know. She's got um, typical calcite and she's getting sore there. Now look at this. Can you see down there how ulcerated it is at the base of her girl bits? Down there, it's so red and ulcerated. That's why she's going down there. See how sore it is? Just here. Yes, in there. That's oh. ulceration. So girls don't have that. And it's because of this stone, the, the combination of the moisture and what's going on. So we're just going to put some oil in. It's just really on the surface, so we can just sort of slip that there. Good girl. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because it's actually quite high. The stone is here under my finger. Yeah. And the exit from the ureter is down. You can even see a little bit of the swelling there. It's under this region. I know, I know it's in there, little one. So, if we can at least have that so it's a little bit more mobile and we'll come down a bit, then we can have a chance to get that out. But if it stays lodged, then it will get bigger and uh, be a real problem. Um, now, if we can dislodge it, she can also urinate it out, which if it's mobile, because it quite often happens that they can just adhere to the edge. I'm just doing this, I oh, know, sort of rubbing the saw bit. Yeah, and I'm hoping that she can just urinate it out. So we'll give her a little bottom wash after this and do her ears and other things and her nails. She'll be feeling a lot better. And then you've just got to keep an eye on this area with where that stone is to see that it's not getting bigger and what you might see is it presenting like it'll become more and more of a very obvious marble size bump Jeez, that's big marble <laughs> well it's it, because it's got the skin feels, on top <laughs> feels big now. yeah but the um the stone itself isn't big but she knows it's really nasty the numbing agent works really, really well. Hopefully, that will sort of manipulate and manoeuvre the stone enough that she can urinate it out. Because it's definitely trying to come down the gill. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll give her back to you. We're going to do her, which I'll quickly do her nails and then I'll just um, groom her bottom. We'll do a little bottom bath in her ears and so on. And um, hopefully she'll be able to pass that little stone because I've certainly manipulated it there enough and she's, I'm crossing that, <laughs> crossing my fingers with that. And we'll also put some um, pseudo cream on to that little area that's really sore. It needs like a barrier cream on that, so with all the urine and stuff around there, so it settles down. She's so cute. She is. 
changes it. Okay, I'm gonna give her back to you for a minute, and then we'll do a bottom wash and ears, and hopefully that will just then settle. I'm just going to wet her bottom and then put her in a towel you can nurse her with after. So if you keep that, I'm just going to put a little bit of Alice on there. Get her into this bit. And clean up this bottom a bit. She's not trying to bite at all. <laughs> she's lovely. That's because she's not in her cage and you're not putting your hand in there. <laughs> no, she's lovely. She her, the floor of her once. cage is at the level of my head. Yeah. And um, I'm surprised she hasn't bitten me now. So. <laughs> Stick my head in. Right, she's lovely. So we're just removing this urine scald there. Okay. Okay. Your ears missing while you're there. Yeah, so with her nose, what's going on there is relation to her bottom. Just uh, keep, an, keep an eye on that. She's got, this is the sort of fungally stuff that we need to get out of these ears. It's the moisture, it's this time of year, it's her coat. This will make her feel a lot better. And hopefully she's a lot more comfortable down the bottom as well. Yeah, keep me posted on the little lump. I'm also just going to wipe off the end of her nose where that little brown bit is. But rest assured it's not coming from in her nose, it's coming from her bottom area. Well, for this little girl, she's got to be kept super dry, her bedding, which might mean changing it definitely once a day, any padded material. Yeah, yeah. It's changed and, once a day. Um, yeah, keeping her back hairs really short, yeah. as we've done. Yeah. And then to top it off, I'm just going to finish this little nose, we're going to wipe it. I know. On this side, Lynn, looking yep. at her, mm -hmm. it seems like there's like bits of hair missing or something. On her cheek, just about a half inch from the nose. It's probably related to the because you put revolution on her. She's got definite fungal this. I'd suspect that mites are present. But where do you think? Down here somewhere. Um, where? Just uh, in this, just in this white area here. I can like see a lot of pink skin. No, that's normal. That's normal. Yeah, it's always thinner here than shorter. That's fine. That's fine. Gorgeous. So she's back to normal there. Keep an eye on that stone area. We're going to put some pseudo cream. This little area that's really sore. Now she's nicely clean. And we might just, I'm actually going to take that little bit of fur there as well. That's all I've got her there. Because I really want to not have anything go into that area for her needs to be kept dry so anything that's sort of coming down remotely this is the extra little bit since we bathed her just make I know complain complaining but just keep this really dry okay and you can do it scissoring with this you can see she's really worried but where it's sore right down low here get a little bit of pseudo cream like that and you can just literally pop it in there and that will act as a barrier cream so when she urinates it will protect that area and it'll settle down not be as red and then she won't be going there to the other thing is the little stone that's there she's trying to that's annoying her so that's all also bringing her down that way but hopefully now she can pass that so keep a close eye on her let me know if you want to keep her this and dry her off in that yeah she's ready she can go in her carrier and i'll hear from you later okay